One of the things that you've seen us do out in the uh, outbuilding here, the moonshine shack on my half acre property, is making a uh, shine and the uh, fun that we have from time to time uh, fermenting and uh, you know when the gang gets together we have a blast in here but the long-term use of this building is not to be a uh, moonshine shack it's really being developed as a granny unit on the property you know the casa has two bedrooms and one bath and one of the problems I've encountered now is in renovating the house, I can't move any more forward in terms of doing the bathroom because I don't have a backup bathroom to shower and do things in. I really need to have a second bathroom in place. And one of the things I thought is I could convert this old work shed into a uh, granny unit and then, uh, you know, I have a bathroom roughed in the corner, which I'll show you. And then once that bathroom was operational and all the sheet rock was done and everything was all signed up, signed on, uh, signed off on by the city, legally permitted, it would then upgrade the uh, CASA to a house with a licensed and legal granny unit, which would be uh, fun and it would be safe for everybody that wanted to come and visit and stay and uh, you know have a little kitchenette a little uh, bedroom and a small living room area and it'd be a lot of be a really nice thing so i want to update you today because i have had some people write and email and say what's next for uh your next big project so i thought i'd just take time to show you today because it's an important one and it would be fun to uh, update you guys on that. You know guys, the big issue here was how do you put a uh, sewer into a 300 square foot uh, building that never had one before it was used as a workshop. And if anybody wanted to use the bathroom, they went in the house, simple, simple. But uh, for my purposes, I wanted to uh, add a uh, bathroom to this building to turn it into a uh, granny unit or a guest cottage. The trick is, though, the options were pretty few for that. You either had to put a grinder pump that would uh, pump the sewage into a, um, into a grinder and then have to be periodically uh, serviced and, uh, you know, flushed into the line. And it was really like a $10,000 deal. The other thing is out here on the uh, street and what the city of Santa Rosa was eventually to find out was that there was a sewer pipe, a major sewer pipe that runs up and down this uh, alley here. And if I could just do the uh, connection to the where the plumber put the uh, sewer feed in the building here in the back, could run it out here and connect up with that uh, sewer line up there, thereby allowing, uh, providing for uh, sewage in the property. The problem was that uh, that application for a permit was really uh, put in in August of last year, and here it is July, and it's almost been uh, 11 months since that permit went in. If you look over here in the uh, corner, and you see we have some drunk junk in here, you can see that I've uh, done the rough out for the uh, plumbing, the uh, toilet um, here, that's all ready to go. I have the uh, plumbing hot and cold for the sink as well as a drain. And everything has the appropriate uh, vent stacks for ventilation because unless you have a uh, stack, it can't equalize the air pressure and then you have problems uh, with, with uh, drainage and all that, slow draining and all that, and you can have uh, backups. I also have the uh, shower stall framed in here and although it's filled with electronic junk now you can see the hot and cold in the back there and I have the uh, plastic inserts that actually form the inside of it and that can be framed nice. I have put in my ventilation up here with the uh, with the out tube to the outside and everything's to code. All the wiring is uh, 20 amp and it's all ready to go. On the outside here, well, there's a place in the corner for the hot and for the hot water heater to sit there. But here you can see the uh, I have uh, drainage and hot and cold for a little kitchenette. It would be in this area, 
by the uh, refrigerator here and I plan to put a window up here to sort of match and mirror that window over there to let some more light in. Uh, you can see the ceiling. The problem we had in here originally, or I had, was this ceiling was only at the height of right here and coming over. This uh, lower beam, and it was an uh, eight-foot ceiling. By vaulting it carefully and doubling it up and using the uh, good strong half-inch, three-quarter, five-eighths inch carriage bolts that you can see there, it added strength to the uh, roof and it also raised the ceiling to give it a uh, vaulted effect. And uh, although that looks pretty complicated, it was really a rather uh, simple job. Measure twice, cut once, and uh, really, really easy. So the next thing I would like to do, guys, is uh, get that uh, excavating dick to get out here and dig up outside and uh, bring that uh, sewer pipe connection here for the toilet. I have all the fixtures, the sink, the uh, toilet, and all that stuff. I just need the... Uh, I just needed to get it hooked up and it's uh, good to go and then I can uh, come back and do the uh, final uh, plumbing, have the guys come off and sign off on that, then I can hang the uh, sheetrock, get it signed off one last time and then it's uh, good to go. A new roof was also put on this uh, shine shack because it did have some leaks to it but uh, that's all fixed now. So it would basically take a uh, 300 square foot property. It's currently being used for a uh, alternative use. <laughs> and you can see over here we have uh, uh, city water and well water feeds for uh, cooling and uh, cooling the uh, still here. So uh, everything has been wired for 20 amps in here. That's what the uh, yellow wiring is. I like to overdo in terms of uh, in terms of wire gauge because it's always safety first and we've got a new uh, a new circuit breaker panel here and all of the uh, all of the uh, outlets and everything are new and the uh, got the uh, lights just temporarily hung up and all that so all right I hope you've enjoyed this uh, update of what's going to happen to the moonshine shack hopefully uh, by the fall of this year or the winter the latest it should all be done you know taking a, a property that was beat to hell and making it something nice something livable something that's basically doubling in value really is a labor of love and you really have to know what you're doing a lot of times people do work that's uh, not permitted and it's fine as long as at the end of it you know when you tell the building inspector or when you go to apply your to you for your permit you know you tell them the work was already there when I got there and I said oh okay I'll come we'll come in and check it out and all that you always want to be safe and you always want to be careful and when I renovate and do renovation projects I always want to overdo in terms of the uh, safety margins for wiring and all that and uh, luckily the uh, boss is a uh, certified master electrician and he's always had my back tell me what to do tell me what I've done wrong tell me what I need to do and all that but basically every uh, every nail has been driven every screw has been turned every uh, paint uh, bit of paint that's been uh, brushed on it's all been done by uh, yours truly, framing, plumbing, everything. So thanks for being with me on the update today. And uh, I'm glad to have you uh, updated on the progress. And I hope you'll be along as everything here moves towards our grand finale on the Rancho. Thanks for watching.